Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Nicole here from my Pandora Charmed Life and I have a little mini Harry Potter review as well as a how I designed with my Harry Potter beads video. A lot of you have asked if I was going to do a review on Harry Potter and I was like, hey guys, honestly, I've never seen Harry Potter nor have I read the books. And so, you know, I've been, I wasn't quick to jump on these charms. But what Presley and I have been doing, we've been watching the movies and then I just started the audiobooks too because I feel like the books give you a lot more detail than what the movies are giving me. So I'm doing a little bit of both. Um, but I did end up, I'm three episodes in and I'm still in the first audiobook. But I already have my favorite characters. So no spoilers. I don't know what happens after three. Uh, so don't let me know. <laughs> but as of right now, these three characters are my favorite. And so we'll take a close up look at these charms and then I'll show you how I designed it. I am obsessed with my design. So we'll just jump right in. We will start with Harry Potter. Harry Potter is so cute with his super round glasses. You see his little lightning bolt scar. By the way, you guys, Presley makes me draw a lightning bolt scar on her forehead every day because <laughs> she wants to be Harry Potter. And you have his fun hair, his tiny little wand, and then his scarf is that yellow and deep red color. So cute on the bottom. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's so adorable. Can you pick? Yes, the camera is totally going to pick it up. So on the bottom of his shoes, you have tiny little hearts hidden. So if he was walking in the snow, you would see this cute little heart print. So thank you, Pandora, for adding you know, a little special something. I feel like hearts are kind of your hidden thing. So I found them. And then looking at the back, it's just kind of more plain. His hair detail kind of stops, which is kind of a bummer, but you do still have the scarf detail on there as well. This hallmark I'm going to assume is gonna be like the licensing with Harry Potter. And then on this other side, you just have your normal, oh! no, Harry, just kidding. <laughs> you have your normal Pandora markings there. Then you've noticed the S925 ALE here on the bottom. Then we have Dobby. You guys, it was so funny when um, Emily, if you watched her, well, if you watched her Instagram, somewhere, I, Emily has this one. <laughs> She's posted it somewhere. And I was like, who's Dobby? Um, and some of the um, feedback, I think a lot of people are saying is that these are kind of cutesy. And so I was like, he is cute. And then I looked up Dobby online and I was like, oh, he's not that cute. But then I watched him and I was like, he is cute. I love Dobby. So here's Dobby. Got his baggy little, I don't know what you call it. It's not a shirt. And then here in the back, this was my favorite detail. Can you guys see that? He's holding the sock. The sock that Harry Potter gave him to set him free. That was my favorite part of that episode, by the way. I think it was two. So he's great. The one thing that I have is a complaint about Dobby is, so you guys notice how Harry Potter was able to stand up straight. He falls over whenever, um, whenever you have him like this. So you would definitely not be able to wear him on like say the O pendant because he would fall. But what I did do is I got little silicone stoppers that I had purchased on Amazon and I stuck them like kind of cut them up and stuck them in his head to keep them upright. But the way I have him designed, uh, I don't really need to do that because of the way he sits on my wrist. So there's Dobby. And then here's Hermione. And you guys, I have to be honest with you. When I watch it, all I see is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And it makes me wonder if when people watched Harry Potter first and then Beauty and the Beast, if all they saw was Hermione when they watched Beauty and the Beast. So comment below and let me know if that was the case. But um, I do know that her hair goes through like a lot of different phases within the movie. And I love when it was just like really poofed out. And I like that this charm kind of captures that. So here's Hermione. She has a tiny little eyelash detail on her too. Can you guys see that? I love the eyelash detail. The S925 is hidden in her hair. And we'll get the back. 
unlike Harry Potter where his detail ends in the back, her hair is like full. So I think she's just precious and adorable. And there's Hermione. So guys, the day that I picked up these charms, I came home and I had received a gift from Emily at Fashion Storyteller uh, for Christmas. And you guys know she's like introducing the world to ogre beads. Um, she sent me some ogre beads for Christmas. And this was literally, I just got home from purchasing these, these charms. And when I was looking at them, I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna go perfectly with Harry Potter because of the red on Harry's scarf and then kind of like that gold dust kind of reminds me of his scarf too. So I immediately was like, I already know how I'm going to design with this, um, with this set. And I was really excited to get to working. Aren't these beautiful? I believe these are called Orchid, shoot, hold on. Orchid Pixie Dust Fragments. Aren't they gorgeous? I love the um, like faceted cut on the glass and then the little sparkle inside. They're just gorgeous. Um, so thank you, Emily, for these. And so this is how my design began. And then I was fortunate enough to get this open bangle from Australia from my friend Queen Bee. And um, I'm not sure which video you're, I'm gonna post first. So I do have a mini haul of that as well. But I was like, I think I want to put it on this bangle because uh, because of the stars and because I love it and because I wanted this to go on an open bangle because these beads right here are small coarse. They will not feel, fit on a threaded bracelet. And so it was all just like everything was working out perfectly. So I'm going to show you the design that I have with this. Here you go. This is how I ended up with this design for my Harry Potter bangle. You guys, it just like fit perfectly. I really wanted to get the Hogwarts castle too. And um, I had gone to Jared and they didn't have it. So I was like, okay, well I'll get these for now. And now that I have this in place, like I really don't think the Hogwarts castle would fit. Like I think this is just perfect as is. I don't know. You guys let me know. What would you do? Would you change this and add more? Just keep it as is. Um, as far as the other Harry Potter collection, I think it's awesome that they have a dangle for your house. I have taken um, the Pottermore quiz and it is telling me that Ravenclaw is my house. Um, one time I took it and Presley was kind of like helping me with the answers. So I was like, I need to take it all over again. <laughs> so I made a new account and did it like answered based on what I would do. And Ravenclaw came out again. And I don't know a lot about Ravenclaw. So I'm like, am I? I don't know. Um, We'll see, you guys will have to tell me what you think. Um, what house do you would you assume I would be in? But um, I do love the Ravenclaw dangle, so I will get that at some point. Um, but I won't put it on here. Um, one, they're not Ravenclaw. Two, it's um, kind of got blue in it and I don't want it to clash with these other colors. So I might just put it on like my personality type bracelet type of thing. But here you go, here you have it. Here is my Harry Potter themed bracelet along with some ogre beads, along with this beautiful Australia gift with purchase. So let me know, tell me what you think. I'm in love with it. Let me know what you think about the Harry Potter collection. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.